So you're a veteran and you're thinking about moving to the Greenville, South Carolina area and you're concerned because you need to know the benefits and the tax savings before you can decide to move here. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over everything a veteran needs to know about living in Greenville, South Carolina and South Carolina as a whole. Let's get into it. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about Greenville, South Carolina, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything happening in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Tracy Roberts with Atlas Home Team and we're helping people just like you from all over the world move to our beautiful area. So whether it is a month from now or a year from now, do not hesitate to reach out. All of our information is below. So let's go ahead and jump into all the benefits and the tax savings for all the veterans that we love that move here. So I think we need to start off with a huge one. This one is amazing. A lot of people don't know that this has changed. It's the Workforce Enforcement Recognition Act. What that means is it used to be that only 17,500 until someone turns 65, then it turned $30,000 of the income of the veteran retirement would be tax exempt. Now it's 100%. So whether you are 40 years old and retired veteran or you're 65, the 100% of your retirement income is 100%. I wanna make sure I say this enough, 100%. That is so amazing. It puts so much money back in their pockets for them to have an amazing life. So you, you will be able to use your money the way you see fit. Now you still have the IRS that has a federal taxing for it, but you will not have South Carolina taxes for that. Another amazing thing is the VA home loan. While everybody knows it's a federal thing and I understand that you can use it in different states, I wanna unpack it a little bit so you fully understand your benefit and why it's so amazing. Because it's backed by the Veterans Affairs, it has a lower interest rate many times. It doesn't have to have PMI. PMI is if you were to finance more of the home than 80% of its value, you usually have to pay for a premium for insurance. If it's an FHA loan, it's called MIP. On a VA loan, it doesn't exist. It's pretty amazing, right? Also, on the backed loan, that means that there's lower closing costs. And many times, sellers will pay that closing cost for you. Not every time. You do have to negotiate and ask for it. And if they do, and you're not having to put money down, and they're paying the closing costs and you have a lower interest rate and you don't have an inflated payment with PMI, you have a great situation for you to purchase your home when you retire. And you also can also do it when you don't retire. So there's two ways you can use this loan. You don't have to wait. If you have any questions about this loan and how to use it, reach out to me. Another unique thing for South Carolina is that a 100% disabled veteran gets to be able to purchase a home on land, five acres or less, that's gonna be owner occupied, and it's tax exempt, 100% tax exempt. That's phenomenal. They get to also purchase up to two vehicles that are private passenger vehicles, whether it's themselves or joint with their spouse, and they'll be able to have them tax exempt as well. If you're not 100% disabled, but you were a prisoner of war, and I truly apologize that that happened, as well if you have a medal of honor, you get to do the 100% tax exempt on your home, though you get to purchase one vehicle tax exempt. So another difference for the programs are, instead of being able to have up to five acres, you, you in that situation would get to up to one acre of land with your home. So there's two different programs, though they're both very amazing programs for you. One of the cool things about South Carolina is they really wanna get our veterans back into the workforce. If you have work experience in the military, driving a vehicle that you would need a CDL license, you would be able to get your CDL without having to take the test. Some unique parameters around that are you either have to be active military right now or you have been discharged in the last 12 months and you can show your DDT 214 and then you would show your exchange paperwork. There are some other little nuances to it and yet it's a really great program if you enjoy doing that in your career field in the military and you wanna continue with that when you get out. What I really love about our community is that we are fully encompassing of a community. Whether you're a veteran or you're a civilian or whatever your life has looked like, we fully embrace that and veterans are fully supported here. Whether it's restaurants, it's breweries, whether it's art museums, um, history museums, we have everything for that here. 
One of the coolest breweries here is 13 Stripes. Everything about it is the Revolutionary War. It's so cool. Their tap beer are all named for different parts of the Revolutionary War. On Memorial Day every year, they have a drink called the Fallen Soldier, and it's a unique drink that's made only them. The lids for that barrel are on their wall, and each year they pick a different Fallen Soldier in South Carolina that it's named for. They give back so much to the community and the veterans community. If you're in Taylor's Mill, you definitely want to check it out. It's been mentioned in one of my previous videos, so just make sure that you go check out the What to Do in Taylor, South Carolina, so you can see more about it if you're interested. In the upstate, you're going to find veteran support organizations galore. Just to name a few, it's going to be the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the Upstate Warrior Solution, and there's the American Legion. So if you need any more information about those, I'm going to drop a link below and it's going to have places that you can find more support in our area. In the upstate, you're going to find amazing hospitals. We have them in Anderson County, Greenville County, and Spartanburg County. If those are not what you want to tap into and you're looking to tap into the VA centers or the VA hospital or the clinics that are available to you, there will be a link below to make sure you can access them. As a veteran, you've traveled all over and I'm so thankful that you have. You may have made friends in California, you may have made them in New York, heck you may have made them in Tuscany. We don't know, but I know that it's going to be important to you that you're in an airport close by. GSP International Airport is usually within 15 to 20 minutes of most places in the upstate. If you just wanted to go to the beach for the day and you wanted to go travel and have a friend fly into Charleston, that's two hours away. If you want to travel to Myrtle Beach, it's four hours away. If you're thinking about going to the mountains, if you want to go hiking, really close by is 30 minutes away. And if you wanted to go into, say, Asheville for some hiking, it's an hour and a half away. The upstate is a very central located area for you to travel and have leisure at your way of life. Let's talk about education. South Carolina is a huge education state for veterans and non-veterans. For veterans, they have programs even for your children on most cases for you to be able to have access to education in our public colleges. So I will make sure to put a link below so you get all the different criteria that you have to have and your children have to have to be able to give them higher education that they deserve. Greenville, South Carolina and the area that surrounds it is such an amazing area to relax, to enjoy life. Whether you're going to Lake Hartwell or you're going to Lake Kiwi or you're enjoying the mountains, you want to enjoy the outdoors by doing outdoor activities. While well, you're on the lake, you want to be able to hunt and fish. 100% disabled veterans get to have a hunting and fishing license for absolutely nothing. They renew it every three years, but they get to keep it. So it's no wonder how it is the eighth state in the nation for retiree veterans to live in. So there you have it. All the veterans benefits and tax savings in the upstate South Carolina. If you're thinking about making a move to the Greenville area, don't hesitate to reach out. All of my information is below. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you get more information just like this.